book in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy in the Bible in chapters 4, 6, 8, 10, 28, and 30. You can see Moses, the very thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about in those verses, Moses tells his people that as long as you obey the commandments, you will have the blessings of Allah, of God upon you. But woe unto you if you deviate from these blessings, you will be afflicted in your homes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'athna alikum ibadan lana. They came to you, sir, our servants. Who were those servants? Ulu ba'sin shadeed. The Babylonians came. Fajasu khilal diyar. They came into your homes. At that time, the people of Bani Israel, these were the good people. These were the righteous people. But if you're not doing the work in this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do it for you with great difficulty because we're here to purify ourselves. If we're not actively engaged in this, we're given grave tribulations. We have to pray for our ummah. Pray for these places in the Muslim world. Pray. We don't want to see Arabia fall into disarray. We don't want to see fighting in the Haramain. We don't want to see weapons in the Haramain, in the sanctuaries. We don't want to see the breakdown. We should be praying for these people and the stability of their governments. We should be praying for these people. We don't pray against our people. In Imam at tahawis Aqidah, it says that we do not imprecate against rulers. This is part of the aqidah that's agreed upon by Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. La nad'u alayhim wa injaru alayna. Even if they're unjust to us, we still ask Allah to rectify them, to turn their hearts, to bring them back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is extremely important. Abu Hanifa said that the most foolish of people are those who make dua against rulers because he said they're making dua against themselves. Ida aslahu aslahna. As you are sore, the people put over you. Abu Bakr al-Tartushi said, I looked at this uh, hadith which has some weakness in it until I found it in the book of Allah. The meaning in the book of Allah. Like that we put some oppressors over other oppressors. If you don't think we're oppressors, you're in big trouble. Our carbon footprint is an oppression. What Imam Zaid was talking about earlier. All of us are filled with sin and we have to make tawbah and humble ourselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Daniel the prophet, when the Jews were taken into captivity, he put on sackcloth and put ash and begged God to forgive him. This is what we have to do when the Prophet was asked by Abu Bakr, the greatest heart after our Prophet in this ummah according to our tradition, Abu Bakr as Siddiq. The one who believed the Prophet in every situation when others doubted him. Even when he compromised with the pagans in Mecca. And they said, why are you compromising with the pagans? Aren't we on the truth? Abu Bakr was the only one that didn't have any wavering in his heart. He said, Ya Rasulullah, teach me a dua that I can say in my prayer. He said, Qul, Allahumma inni zalamtu nafsi zulman kathira. Say, I have oppressed myself greatly. This was the dua that he taught Abu Bakr as Siddiq. He said, Inni la astaghfirullah sab'ina marra. Every day the Prophet of Allah asked forgiveness. If you look at the, if you look at the, the last uh, verses revealed in the Quran, Ida ja'akum nasrullahi wal fath. When the, the Nasr of Allah comes to you and the fath, when it comes to you, what do you do? Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wa staghfirhu. Ask forgiveness when everything's going well. When you get the opening, ask forgiveness. We as an ummah have to ask forgiveness. Wallahi zalamna anfusina. Everything we're seeing is from our distance from Allah and His Messenger. We have to have uns with Allah. The whole world has turned against us. But remember this. Ibn Atayilah said, إِذَا أَوْحَشَكُ اللَّهُ مِنْ خَلْقِهِ فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَفْتَحْ بَابَ الْعُنْسِ بِهِ when Allah turns people against you, know that He's opening a door to become intimate with Him. There's women in this room that have just been divorced. This is an opening for you to get close to your Lord. There's men who are suffering the death of a spouse or a sickness. These are all doors to get close to Allah. This is what we have to do. We have to ask forgiveness. This is a difficult time. All of us are struggling to understand it. It's a difficult time, but it's our time. 
And it's a good time because it's our time. And there's no gift greater than the gift of existence and the gift of faith. And Allah has given us both of these. These are great gifts from Allah.